All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests, Jonathan Davis and Rudy Ponco from Netflix's new show, Outer Banks. They play JJ and Pope. Obviously, we have become one big Outer Banks stand podcast. Yeah. So welcome to the show, guys. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it's been crazy. We've done nothing but talk about the show for the last maybe two weeks now or a week and a half. And um, people are going to be super excited to uh, see that you guys are on as well. This is like kind of a sneaky addition that I feel like people are going to be really pumped about. Uh, we're super excited to talk to you guys about the show. We just had Chase and Madeline on their, mm -hmm. our episode that came mm -hmm. out today. We had a ton of fun talking to them. Uh, the first thing we did with them was they just kind of explained like how they got involved with the show and how they were cast and that process, which yeah. I think is always super interesting. So we would love to hear that from the two of you as well. Jay, do you want to go yeah. first? Uh, sure. Well, Rudy and I were in the first ever chemistry read for the show way, okay. way, way up in like <laughs> February. Was that? Dude, yeah, yeah. I think. It was last February for sure. Yeah, it was a while ago. And um, we kind of like, it was weird because, well, Rudy was like, in the first commercial read was uh, reading for John B. And like, um, afterwards, I remember we all kind of hung out and like me and Rudy really like connected. Mm -hmm. Like, like mm -hmm. beyond, like beyond, yeah. like, like, the, like. Remember the Titans, baby. Remember yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember. Yeah, yeah, we were like, we like, we like went to a food truck and ate together. And like, I was like, I remember like, like, I, I remember saying like, I would hang out with this dude despite uh, like anything with the show. No, we, we also tell him the story of how like some chick walked by and we were both oh, like, yeah. and like all of a sudden we were like, we look over and I'm like, damn. And then JD's yeah. like, damn. Yeah. Like, yeah, we look over at this chick. Like, like, and like, like that's, how, that's how Rudy and I found out we have the exact same taste in women. Like, <laughs> like, like the exact same taste. It's uncanny. <laughs> like, and it's like literally like every time we go out, we're like we look at each other like. Yeah, we both know. <laughs> we both know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that uh, ever cause problems for you guys though? Do you guys like fight over girls, or you're like, oh no, you got that one, you got the next one? It's never come up. I don't. <laughs> never, think so. never has come up. I think never come up. Very respectful about that. But like, it's, we'd, it's, we'd, we'd probably pay paper rock scissors or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys seem inseparable, though, I will say. And we talked to Chase and Madeline about this, and they were talking about how you guys just really, like, the improv that you guys do is uh -huh. out of this world and the chemistry and what you guys were saying, like, you hit it off right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, we. What do you say, Jay? I think our chemistry is, is yeah. pretty good. I, I think thought you were going to answer it. I think that comes with good taste in anime, and that comes with good, mm -hmm. you know, this shirt. There, there it is. He has, oh, he has, you he has matching shirts. You, I, you I, I, I don't know. I, forget, I completely forgot. We have that. We have matching shirts. We have the like, exact same shirt. We have the exact same shirt. I would, if I'd have known, I told I you, would like, do it. Wow, that was a missed opportunity for you guys to match on this Zoom yeah. call. We have well, like two matching well, shirts. You gotta show them your shirt. Oh, I'm wearing our Outer Bank shirt. Oh, that's so dope. Wait, I'll put so this shirt on the back. Right. That's a, I want that shirt so bad. Like that exact shirt, I would love. Yes, we're we're gonna get them to you guys. We're there's really no way to be like, hey, you don't want to ask a stranger for your address. <laughs> like, hey, let me give you like my mailing address. So we're gonna make sure that Netflix gets it to you guys. <laughs> so let's like we shout to Netflix first, but then at the same time, do we want Netflix knowing where we live too? Yeah, right, right. they could come well. over and they could come over and ask us if we're still watching and stuff like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just knock, um, knock on the door, you guys are yeah. press play, press play. Still watching the next episode. Yeah, we're on, we're on Hulu or something. They're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, what, are you, what are you doing? There? <laughs> that doesn't look like a red right end to me. Uh, back to what we were saying about how you guys got started. Did you think that you guys had an easier audition process than some of the other cast members? Or do you think, like, were you nervous yeah. that you weren't going to get it? Did you know you were going to get it? Where were your heads at? And the oh, character yeah. switch, because, I mean, you said you read for John B. first. And yeah, well, actually, do you want to tell, tell that story? Tell you haven't, we, we've never told that story in an interview before. All right. Let's Man, let's tell it right now. Is this the one? Is this the one, Rudy? <laughs> Here we you, go. This is you, the one. You, you I mean, Chase, is, Chase has mentioned it in several of his interviews, but um, the story goes, I, I flew out to Charleston without a character attached to my name, mm -hmm. and 
I had read for Rafe, JJ, John B, Rafe again, to then John B. So I had read for, I think like, you know, a total of about mm-hmm. seven times when I flew out to Charleston. Yeah. And I was thinking under the impression that I was going to be John B uh, at first, but then they were like, we don't really know where you're at. We did the chemistry read in Charleston and they were like, yeah, that was that was good. And then, like, I was worried. I was terrified. And, and I, was there like, was I don't a, know if I'm going to get this. For there was a time, too, like, where um, where we had basically cast, like, I was cast, Rudy was cast as John B., Bailey was cast as Kiara, and they had Nick Cirillo, who plays Barry, cast as JJ at one point in time, and that was kind of the cast. All right, you can continue. I was the cast. That up. And it was, it was really strange when all of a sudden they were like, we're going to do another chemistry read. And then they were like, bro, we're bringing in three new John B's, uh, but we want you to read as JJ. And John B was out of the question. So I, I screwed up John B for sure. <laughs> <laughs> then I, here's the, this is, this is going to be hard. You guys are going to be like, oh, I called JD up the night before I'm going to go into the audition. It's like 11 o'clock JJ. at night. Cause we were staying in the same hotel. At night. I'm like, bro, can you help me with this? I have three new scenes that are like three pages long. To like four pages long i've been working as john b for the past two weeks can you help me find jj and he comes down and we work it into like what jd it was like, like what was one it? one two in the morning one, two. and then we were wow. and yeah. dude, jd was just like dude you have it get rest and then bring it bring yeah. it on i told him tomorrow. i told him like i was like i remember telling him i went down there and i was like you keep doing it as john b but you have this like this like vulnerability that I think you can bring to JJ that'll really make him like, that, that'll yeah. push his character. Cause at first he was just that kind of grungy dude. Like he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't have the vulnerability that Rudy I think could, w- was gonna give him. And then when he did, I remember it was the scene where he was like, it was the scene in the show where he's telling, con- trying to convince John B to get the tanks from Cameron's boat. That was one of his audition scenes. And I was like, I was like right there, there was a line of something like, like we have nothing else to lose. And I'm like, you gotta hit that line right there. Because mm-hmm. that, that is JJ's character. He has nothing else to lose. Right. He's a junkyard dog for his friends, you know? That story and almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm not going to lie. Rudy <laughs> kills it, man. He's like, like, he freaking goes in there. Him and Chase kill it. Like, Rudy, Rudy and Chase were the underdogs for the roles for a long time. And then they, like, they just both, like, like John B. and JJ, they really took their opportunities and were like, we're going we're gonna to give it everything we got right here. You know? I think everybody was, like, thought that with the audition. Like, we had nothing to take our lose. opportunity. Yeah. Nothing to lose. We got nothing. Yeah, to lose. We got nothing to lose at this point. We're already like I'm, we're already. He was a he was a freaking dishwasher at Cheesecake Factory, and I worked <laughs> Texas Fifth Avenue as a shoe salesman. Damn right, like, was. Like Damn in the right. shoe, I, I say salesman, but I worked in the shoe department. I was basically customer service, and like, <laughs> and like we were just like we got nothing to lose, man. Like either we get these parts or we don't. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so wow. you kind of like took the script and related it to your own life, really. Like we have nothing to lose in this scene, and also in real life at the same time. Yeah. Um, what, who would you guys say is the most like their character and, their, and the least like their character? I feel like people have asked you this before, but. Everybody well, always says me, but I think that's wrong. I would <laughs> always say JD. I would always be like, Yo, you're, you're Pope, dude. But like, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the, here's the thing. JD, you're way more athletic than Pope. You are insane. <laughs> and also, like, I do think you care more about kind of other people you, you have a bigger cares. heart. i think you have a bigger heart than poe because you love me so much and i think uh Aww. and i think uh he's about to make me cry in a freaking podcast I, think <laughs> it, I, I love you back so much and it's, it's just it's just so real and organic honestly jd and i i think if the, you know who i think is most like the character and i'm gonna throw her under the bus i think I think we're thinking about Caroline, this. Caroline, 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 Caroline Rose. I'm <laughs> she's sorry. A, I think you're the she's, most. She's like, a lot more caring. She's not as. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got that like edge. She's she's great. I love Caroline. Yeah, I know she's great. I, I, Rudy, at least like their character. I would say, Rudy, just because like, he's so like sweet. He's so sweet and innocent, man. He's like, what? he's like, he's got that like he's he's like he's a lot like JJ in that he's like unpredictable. He's got that like, he's got that nature to him. But he's like, he's like so much like sweeter and I don't think he'd ever shoot anybody 
I, I couldn't no, see. I don't think people like think. That. I don't know. It's, it's I don't know. <laughs> I, need to, I need you to. I need to bring you down to Texas. We go to. We go to like a shooting range or something. We'll, see, we'll test your skills. <laughs> I think the funniest thing that I keep seeing right now is the memes about JJ taking out the gun, like the Chris Jenner <laughs> memes, or like yeah. Jonah Hill favorite. with like the bang bang. Just like mm-hmm. at every point. Did you, while you were reading this script, did you ever think, okay, I'm actually going to shoot somebody or were you let down every time? <laughs> no, I, I, you know, to be honest, I knew JJ would never use the gun on somebody. Uh, I think, I think JJ would threaten him when I read the scene about with his dad, when he uh, uh, was going to shoot him in the head and he's like, there's that moment of like, is he actually going to do it? I think I knew in my, my, head that i was so in tune with jj that it's not possible jj would actually use the gun mm-hmm. yeah um you would definitely scare people with it uh and i i don't know i i think it's a thing like i i thought the yeah, gun thing was like yeah i thought it was one of those really things think that, it was gonna be a, something that was latched on to in actual meme culture to be honest like i didn't think the gun was gonna be such a <laughs> are you kidding me we, we made jokes about it on set like literally i think I think when he, I think when he brings that gun into the, like he's about to bring it into the hotel. I think it was really a thing of like at that point it was a meme on set. We were like, hey, I think bringing a gun into a hell, hotel is a really stupid, stupid idea. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It funny. was a, I was a meme. It was a meme on set for sure. Yeah. Like JJ and his gun, the best, the best love story in the whole show. <laughs> John B and Sarah, who? Shit. Come on, JJ and the gun. Well, speaking of love stories, um, we see Pope and Kiara get together at the end of the season. But I'm seeing a lot of people really root for JJ and Kiara. Where do you guys stand on that for season two? JD, well, I, I think, honestly, JJ and Ki would be a fun thing to happen in season like three or four. But I don't think season two is something that's going to be so like apparent because – uh, I mean, not to let anybody down. I think, I think there's something else that Pope and Key haven't had the opportunity to express. I think there's something about that relationship that hasn't been shown, um, and I think they should get that. I think there's a little bit of a cuter aspect of Pope and Key that they haven't expressed yet. So, what uh, do you think? Um, yeah, I was like, I'm kind of on the same page. Like, it's like you know, I trust our writers. Our writers are really good. I'm sure they have a plan for all these characters. Um, the Pope and Key thing, when we were, when, when it first kind of came up, it was, it kind of came out of nowhere for us for a little bit. Like, just like it came out of nowhere for the audience, it came out of nowhere to us. Cause you know, I thought I was like, cause we thought like, Oh, like she likes JJ. Cause of like the thing, the line, but then like, then I was also reminded of the line in the beginning where JJ's like, I tried the door. It's locked for me. And I was like, oh, he did say that, but I don't know. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's a, you know, it's a young adult drama. You never know. And things can change. Relationships change. Right. And those young adult dramas do a phenomenal job of at some point giving us some kind of epic love triangle. And that could be, that could be it. There's always, there's always one. I talked to, I talked to Shannon. Yeah. I love square. Yeah. I talked to Shannon. Zombie, Pope, JJ, Anki. Like, I guess it is, but it does say, it does say all of us have the hots for key. Like that's in there. We all kind of have a thing for it. Yeah. I think I think the writer talked to I talked to the writer about what he would do and like like I'm like what would you do further this relationship and it was like really it was pretty interesting like like their dynamic was interesting for like for me like from an acting perspective to kind of like explore what that would be like you know so like I'm just like I'm just like ready like to see what like I mean I, I think the fan reaction to it is amazing I get yeah. I get just as many like people telling me like, you should break up with Kiara. I'm like, I'm not actually dating her in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just a character I play. But, um, and then I get just as many people like, like Pope and Kiara are like my favorite. Like I hope they would be together from the beginning. So, you know, you get both of it, you know, and that's, that's what's great about like a good, like love kind of thing. You have characters you like, you want to see the characters you like be happy. I yeah. think if, I think if Key would have ended up with JJ at the end of the season, you would have just as many people talking about Pope and Key because you want everybody in the show to be happy, you know? Right you'd like these characters and you want everybody to be happy. So I think, yeah. you know, like JJ's character, he'll get, he'll get, I, I'm pretty sure that all the characters will end up where they need to end up. You know? Definitely. And I, you got, I was gonna go, just, go ahead, Rudy, go ahead, go ahead. Rudy, what are you doing, Rudy? <laughs> what are you doing, boy? 
funniest game, the funniest game I saw was the one with Key, where he's like, Shotty wants all three, and it's like, <laughs> John B kissing, you and Pope, uh, Key and Pope kissing, and then like putting sunglasses on JJ. I was like, sure. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing. It's the same energy. Yeah, exactly. Just this, the same kind of love. Um, no, I was going to say you guys had to learn a lot for this show, I feel like, between, you know, boating and fighting and swimming and all these different things. We talked about just like the fighting situation. Rudy, you there, I mean, there's a lot of fights for you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> fights. <laughs> How do you guys manage to, to learn that choreography, get through that without actually hurting somebody? J- J- oh, we, no, you want to give the, so we, we we'd never, uh, we'd, we'd never ever get across, across, you know, camera is right here it's right. gonna be a so if you're punching from punch right there it. it'd be across the camera and i'd be yeah, reacting like that <laughs> yeah, and then um yeah no so shout out to toby though for shout out to toby. robin wolf stunt coordinator. uh actually it's a fun fact most of our stunt guys were from pirates of the caribbean and then chase's stunt guy was um Captain America. Uh, Captain America. My my, oh, my stunt cool. guy was Falcon from he was a uh, he played Falcon, Anthony Mackie's character. Yeah, yeah. So it. Very experienced yeah. stunt team there. <laughs> so um, you sure. were you the ones actually like doing the fake fighting or were your stunt doubles? Oh, we did everything. Fun fact. Like Jonas was like, throw the stunties in there and then or Toby was like, throw the stunties in there just for safety, and then Jonas stops. The Stop whole thing. And like, all right, we're having we're having the actors do it, and the actors yeah. went in. And they, we actually killed it. We so did like it. The we seen um, the the theater scene. The theater fight, dude. We so shot that like, twice. They were supposed to be. They were supposed to be all stunties doing that scene, and then it turned out to just be like no we just close ups of the actors. You know, yeah, and I think on, and we're like, and, oh. and I think when it's us, you can feel those punches like they like like you feel like when you see somebody getting hit, it hurts you more than it does when it's like. Oh, oh, this is, looks really cool, you know? Because oh, yeah. like, oh, the yeah. studies make, make it look way better. They oh, make yeah. it look make much contact. cleaner than we could ever do. Oh, yeah. I was definitely wailed on by Drew. Drew, I know I hit yeah. you, too. I'm sorry mm-hmm. if you're watching. Austin, you me, like, Austin almost killed me. You definitely were getting choked out. For uh, I was getting choked out. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. every single time the you guys fought each other, it seemed like you guys were on the verge of death, which, yeah. <laughs> listen, I know it's not supposed to be funny, but by, like, the fourth fight, I started <laughs> laughing. I was like, they, was they are almost dead every single time, <laughs> yeah. and somehow they survive. I yeah. mean, the first, the fir- I think it's the first episode when JJ takes out the gun at the beach, yeah. and Topper is drowning John B., and you're like, he's going to murder him right now just in the <laughs> middle of the yeah. beach. And I want to know how that was shot because is he actually getting his head stuck into the water? Like, what, what's good there? I oh, mean, man. I mean, like, he's, he's down there, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not, like, they're not, like, he's not forcing him underwater. It's, for that yeah. like, it's more like sure. he's right um, by the water. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Okay. There's something else I want to point out, and I'm just gonna shout out the glass. If you look closely in that take, uh, Austin, the guy that plays Topper, has his hands around uh, Chase's neck, around like his shoulders, mm-hmm. and it's like you can. <laughs> it looks like he's just like trying he's to like, him. Like, like, <laughs> he's giving him a massage. Get in there. <laughs> uh, get in there. Hilarious. But like there was, it, it was like here. So then Chase could lift up his head if he needed to be. Yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. If he was actually drowning. He can lift up his head. Um, but, uh, I'm pretty sure Chase just stuck his head under there, though. Yeah, Chase was just like, I'm <laughs> was, gonna, we're all, I was like, goodness gracious. We all, we all made a pact when we started this that we would um, go 100% every time. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we went over. Overboard. Yeah, the last fight, we definitely went over. Oh, uh, yeah. That was Nick, probably- the guy that plays Barry, Nick Cirillo, apologies. I definitely need him in the face. Mm-hmm. There was a t- and it's not, yeah. even in there. it's not even in there. No. It's not even in there. Dude, like, I'm, I, yeah. clipped, I clipped Drew once. I got clipped once. It's just like stuff happens, you know. But that's why the show is so good because you guys went all out. Because <laughs> you guys were really fighting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you could, you could just tell how into it you guys were. And obviously, um, this is like the biggest, right? The biggest show you guys have done yet in your careers. But you guys, the entire cast, absolutely nailed it. And it, it was almost yeah. like, why oh. haven't we seen these people before? You know what I mean? So you guys I mean, really did yeah. a great job in everything yeah thank you shout out to shout out to laura like our cast directors laura schiff and um 
uh, for like. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, <laughs> what? what? Uh, I, I thought you were blanking. I thought you were blanking. I was trying to, I should help you out here. Um, I said it's funny. <laughs> and for, um, for casting, because like, you know, it takes, it takes like casting studios really like betting on unknowns to kind of, to kind of like get something new and special and create a cast that people like and can kind of, you know, work well yeah. together. And luckily, no, Jonas, Jonas didn't want names. He didn't want anybody yeah. that was already established because he think, thought they were going to have a right. an ego on set and be like, this is how I want to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, which I guess. Remember, remember when Jonas was like, when, when Jonas was casting and he was like, I don't want anybody who's not actually 16. Exactly. I want them to be, all be young. And his wife was like, if you get actors, they can play it well. <laughs> Yeah. He's like, he didn't, he didn't want actors at, a one, at one point. He wanted to make it like really real. He didn't want actors. I will say the thing about everyone not being 16, a blessing. Because <laughs> all of these Thank girls <laughs> are like obsessed with all of your characters. And yeah. then everyone's going to check and be like, oh my God. Thank God they're not 16. Like yeah. the amount <laughs> of DMs that I've received being like, I looked up their age and I was so relieved to find out they uh, were not 16. So, so we can say Chase is 17, take, give or take, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Chase, is, Chase just turned 18. He's, he's yeah, the, finally, the finally youngest, legal. He's the, the baby. He's the crew. He's the baby. Got, yeah. <laughs> no, I, it, was, it is funny because the reaction has been so crazy. And I think, like you said, it has a lot to do with the fact that people are meeting you guys for the, for the first time and kind of falling in love with you as actors and characters. I've seen so many people say, like, where have all these people been? They're all so great. Everybody works so well together. When did you guys kind of realize that this show is going to like explode the way it has? Probably the day it dropped. The day it dropped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like maybe like a day or two after it dropped, like we were like, Oh, okay. And it's, like, <laughs> it's like you have people tell you like, Oh, this is going to do really well. And you're like, thanks person who's also working on the same project and would like a job next year yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you know like we're like we like I think we just when we were shooting we just kind of focused on having fun like beyond shooting it like with the cast and the crew like we just had fun together as a family yeah, I, I I think what you I can I uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry but in reality in uh, reality <laughs> if you, if you, you're here, right brother uh uh, go ahead. What I was, I, what I think JD's trying to say is that we were so comfortable, cast, crew, everybody. We gelled so fast that we were so comfortable to be around each other that it gave us the freedom of when that camera was rolling to literally be so relaxed, which is key for an actor. You, it's really hard to do your job when you're feeling under pressure uh, and it's like getting in your head. We felt so at home while that camera ro- uh, was rolling. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's kind of hard to say, was yeah. rolling. Right. Was rolling. Uh, was rolling. Professional uh, actor. Uh, professional uh, actor. Rudy Ponco. <laughs> yeah, professional actor. I, I take my job very seriously. Very seriously. Uh, very seriously. And when that camera wasn't rolling, uh, I, and we were just so comfortable with everybody on set, we were so comfortable with the cast uh, that it was just like a tribute to like, oh, we can do our job and be who we are off with, with mm-hmm. how we want to be on set, which was really right. cool. Right. No, that's the test we, did, we, we weren't worried like like Netflix like the producers came but they weren't like there every day so it's like we really just had time to kind of like you know be ourselves on set and like <laughs> be ourselves in the scene and sometimes that mesh I, I think I, I read somewhere that somebody already said like um, we didn't know sometimes when the camera was rolling and then we would go back and watch the show like holy crap like yeah. that's in there <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how sure. long did you guys actually film for Six months, I think. Mm-hmm. Six, months. Six months plus a month of reshoots. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. And pretty good. what did you guys, uh, you guys shot in Charleston. What was, did, did you love shooting in Charleston? I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's not in the Outer Banks, but there's good reasons for that. But you guys are in Charleston. How, how did you um, like, did you, I, I worded this wrong. How did you enjoy Charleston? <laughs> I really enjoyed Charleston. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. The whole entire thing about like not shooting in the Outer Banks Dude, I feel like if there was a production team in the Outer Banks, that'd be just so wrong. That place is so unique and it's yeah. so special that putting a production crew and cast just on the Outer Banks, that'd be like, I don't know, it'd just be like putting 
freaking, I don't know, like putting the production team on the pier, you know, like it, it, it's just not enough space out there and we would trash the place. No offense. Yeah. Because Plus, like, and then it's like, and then it's like, if anybody wanted to shoot there, it was Jonas Pate, our director, you know, like yeah. we would he, love to. He would look like we would absolutely love to go shoot there. It's just like, you know, like, like, as you said, like things can't always work out yeah. the way you want them to. So but, awesome. yeah. 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 Even when I put out, um, sorry, even when I put out the merch that we made for Outer Banks and obviously it's for the show, but I had so many people that are actually from the Outer Banks were mm -hmm. so mad at me. And I was just yeah. like, yeah, I don't I understand. It. But I guess, wait, wait. Did, I, did it cross your mind if it was like Outer Banks slash shot in Charleston? Like, 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 like. <laughs> just put that up there. Like, don't. And no, that could don't fit in this little. We should have just put like parentheses, parentheses. actually Charleston. Just like put it right on the back of the neck so you can't really see it. But like, that if actually would have been hilarious if we did that. But I, I honestly, I was just like, all right, I guess I just, I'm going to ignore this because think about the people actually in the show that are dealing with the people saying this. And Fran kind of, uh, related it to when Jersey Shore came out and all the people from Jersey and Jersey Shore were like, this is not the Jersey Shore. Yeah. Although that's a reality <laughs> TV show and yeah. way different than Outer Banks. Mm -hmm. um, but or it's I the mean, same thing with any stereo TV like, show. Yeah. Like, they did yeah. it with the Sopranos too. Like this, yeah. they're like, that's not North Jersey. Like that's not, and it's, it's like sometimes you just can't go shoot TV. where you want to. You just gotta, yep. you gotta fake it. And Charleston is an amazing, amazing city. They, they really welcomed us in with open arms yeah. and like, we love we love going out and we kind of explored the city the first night, you know. Yeah, Clyde, I think it Clyde was, and Bailey and Drew had already been there, so like, dude, like, like the first the first season of shooting in Charleston was a dream because you could go out and nobody recognized. Yeah. Nobody you know? recognized us. We already had yeah. uh, okay. We we went out to like uh, Blind Tiger countless times and we had a great time there mm -hmm. and nobody knew what we were there for and it was great. Yeah. We were, they knew we weren't supposed to be there. They just didn't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's now, gonna be season two, season two comes around. We're gonna like we oh, can't do good that. Good luck. It's gonna be, be way it'll different be, now. It won't be that bad, right? Like oh, you guys uh, are gonna get bombarded. I hate to break it to you, but that's gonna happen. <laughs> um, how has the like overnight fame? been because obviously before this started your followers and whatnot were not as much as it is now and now you guys have gained hundreds of thousands of followers in like a week uh well that's all that's the proof that yeah. people uh, like the show the proof we have really yeah like, yeah. Like, yeah we're quarantined being like well this is fun the show yeah. <laughs> it's like i guess know? people i guess people like it like what? we just like we just like call each other like we don't like sometimes we don't even talk about the show. We'll like talk about something <laughs> random. It's we just mean, like we Smash Bros. And we're just yeah, like, we'll play Smash Bros. Uh, I remember, like, I think the first, you know what, the first time I realized it was crazy was I just called Rudy and I was like, hey, do you want to go live and play some Smash Bros? Like, just like, <laughs> just because I thought it'd be fun, you know, not because I was like trying to promote, promote the show or like be <laughs> like, you know, like get our following and stuff or whatever. Yeah. I'm just like, let's just go on live and play some Smash Bros. Because I want like people to see me kill you. And um, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. But uh, <laughs> we had like like over a thousand people join, like just us playing Smash Bros. And that's when I was like, "Holy crap!" You know, I was like, "This is yeah. actually crazy." Have you guys had any face to face reaction, or because you everyone's been kind of on lockdown, you haven't had that moment yet? No. Uh, no, that's insane. <laughs> like, no. not really. Have you? Yeah. Have you been it's on the show? It's crazy what you do. Well, everyone's wearing masks when you go to yeah. the right. you can't see, Yeah, like you can't even see it. It's like you can't even tell who it is. And you're, I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of chuckling because I'm like, well, I wonder if anybody's um, watching. I am in <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I went out. I went to go get my, my sister had to pick up, I, I took my sister to her school to pick up some, like her stuff from her locker. And, you know, I had to, I were, we were all wearing masks and social distancing. And like, I was like, I was like, I know some of these teenagers have watched the show. <laughs> <clears throat> oh like you're oh. thinking to yourself you're like i'm pope I'm but JJ. i found out i did find out later that one of my sisters you remember J, uh, jj rudy do you remember when we went to, to my sister's sister's play you remember that kid who was like who like was wearing the makeup and we were like hanging out with those two kids oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah Dude, that, guy. that kid was like that kid called my sister's like i didn't know they were on like a show show like <laughs> this is like a performing arts school so like they're like you know, yeah. they're like, they, right. they do that all the time. But he was like, he was like freaking out. And I was like, that, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> that's such a good way to describe it. They're like on a, like a real, like a, a, a real show. 
I get that a lot from like my family members who I told about it like years, like years, like a year before it. Like I was like told them I was shooting. Like okay, and then like I'll get a call later. Like I didn't know you were like serious. (laughs) (laughs) That's unreal. It's mom, dad. It's a show, show. It's a show. It's a show. So you just called him JJ by accident. Do you guys do that often, or (laughs) like were you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you guys talking like on set? Were you calling each other by your actual names or by your oh. cast names? Oh, there are plenty of takes where we're like, like Chase, listen, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like, I, no joke, I would call you Pope on set all the time. Like, oh yeah. Like, even I, probably off set, I'd just call you Pope. Yeah, every once in a while, it'll slip for <clears throat> sure. You ever sure. call John B just John? I feel like that's super frowned upon. I called yeah, him I John. Say, I called I him John say, in the show. The person we never call their by them names. Like I don't think I ever called Chase John B. Like no. like on accident. I was never like John B. Like it just yeah. doesn't. Well, happen. Just, that's there's an a lot of name. yes. A lot of energy goes into like saying John B. Like we laughed when we were watching because even like the really emotional scenes when he when he fell like fifty feet and you know just broke his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 Sarah was like, "Oh my God, John B, John B!" Like saying John B. And I was like, "At what point yeah. do you just drop the B?" Like when you're panicking <laughs> that he's dead. <laughs> Here's my theory. I don't even know if this is true. We're, I'm named John. My name's John. Mm-hmm. And you have to say dis- distinguish him by saying John B. Right. And JJ. And I can't. I mean, I don't know why I can't yeah. just be John then. But like, but, uh, like his dad. His dad is also named John. His dad is yes. John. Big John. Yeah. That so, like, makes a lot have, of sense. If you have, if his dad is named John, you have to call him something that's not John. Yes. Right. And growing up, you yeah. probably would say John B, John B. and JJ to separate them. But now mm-hmm. his dad is gone, and right. you guys are already. So we, as not your friends, we don't understand. Yeah. But in the friend group, you would understand yes. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, he even could, when they could have gone with JB. <laughs> yeah, I, my, JJ, JB, JJ. my dad, my real life, my real dad is John, and my little brother is JB. They're both John, though. So there you go. Oh, Could have been. <laughs> yeah, the, the last episode when they wake up in the water and Sarah's like John B. I'm like, you just were drowning, and <laughs> that's the first thing out of your mouth. Oh, John. Yeah. <laughs> this is so. It is so funny. It is. <clears throat> it is very funny. But you guys, we. The show absolutely left us on a massive cliffhanger. Um, I think, I don't want to jinx anything, but I feel like season two hopefully looks good because we are we would riot pushing it. If not. Everybody mm-hmm. is loving the show. Everybody's talking about it, watching it. Um, where would you guys like to see uh, your characters in, in season two? Uh, Rudy? You oh, you want to... me to go first? Yeah, I want you to go first. <laughs> Please. Okay. Please. He's gonna uh, just he's gonna decide what to say after what you say. Yeah, yeah. I wanna mm-hmm. dog. I'm gonna say everything that you didn't say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll copy. I mean, I think J- Hope Pope would look great with a dog. Um <laughs> I really want a dog. <laughs> <laughs> really We're like, we are two inches away from being the Scooby Doo gang as it is. If you get a yeah. dog, <laughs> I'm like I understand. But like why not? I think like for protection, there's that meme going around. I wanna protect JD. A, a dog would be a perfect protection. Um, all right, but to be real, I think I think since the Pogues are kind of in the slums right now because they all think John B is dead, I think we drift apart. The Pogues are no longer the Pogues, and it's like, what the frick? Oh, what? They're like, what, what's what's the same the same the the same season one? The same the chemistry and all that stuff, and then they have to find that. I kind of want to see them like find it again um, when John B comes back. And then all of a sudden, Ward, you know, is served justice, and he gets thrown in the 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 the, the, the pen and his stuff like mm-hmm. that. Uh, and I I just wanna, I really want it to be different. Actually, I I wanted the chemistry to be different at first, mm-hmm. but then it comes back to yeah. chemistry. I like that idea. I like I like the idea of like of having to rebuild the friendship, you know, cause then you can see like, cause then you can go to like you like you know it's a friendship, and now let's see how it started. Why are they friends in the first place? You know, you kind of get that they're friends, but now right. I think it's a good opportunity to explore like, well, why? You know, why do these people yeah. latch on to so like, like that? All our separate storylines, JJ's into hard drugs now, just like just like Rafe, and all of a sudden- uh, like, He says he's into like, hard drugs. Through. And then Pope, is like, Pope and, is Pope and Key are like, I say Pope and Key's relationship is like struggling yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe they're, maybe they've been like dating for a while now. Like who knows? Maybe they haven't dated at all. Maybe they haven't even like talked about the kiss since. 
You well, know, what if the guys' chemistry is like so real and so raw? Where it's like, it's like, can you hand me a beer, babe? And then your pope's like, and he is like, what? You want to drink a beer? And you're like, yeah. I'm no, I want to see. You know what? That's the main thing I want to see. I want to see if Pope's where Pope ended at the end of the season. That confidence, his his anger. I want to see if that moves into season two. I feel like it yeah. would. Like is, with John B being dead, I feel like it would kind of. Right. Is yeah. Pope like a Keep pothead it. now? Like where? <laughs> right. Where his scholar, that, that yeah. would love to his see. scholarship <laughs> dreams have gone down the tubes. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to see a JJ Pope smoke sesh like the Bailey, like the, the, oh. the Kiara Sarah one? Yeah. Just like, I just like that same kind of vibe, but with JJ and Pope, who would want to see yeah, that? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That would be I mean, fantastic. I would, be, I would say we go for that. Cast me yeah. in that scene. I mean, every time I talk to <laughs> the cast, I'm like, hey, put me in season two, just as like an extra or a background. Please, come on. We probably, we probably can make that happen. Let's make, make that it happen. happen. Yeah, yeah, I've just... You know what? I'm just throwing out there, like, to Netflix, because I'm not saying that Fran and I really put Outer Banks over the top. <laughs> but maybe just a little bit. I don't know. You I don't know. know. <laughs> you know. If you look I at mean, the time, if you look at the timeline, it all kind of connects. Yeah, I see. <laughs> see it start. You see it start to. Yeah, yeah. it all yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, I, the way we ended the last interview with Chase and Madeline, I asked them about the "I would die for John B." movement. Uh, so we started that. But people are like, "Listen, I would die for JJ. I would die for Pope. I would die for Key. I would die for everybody." How do you guys feel about that? It's like a lot of pressure on you to have people <laughs> saying that they would die for you. Like it's in what situation? I'm like, uh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't die. No, don't die for us. <laughs> don't die for us. No, but you know, if, if push comes to shove, they would lay it down for you guys. That's right. I feel like that's that's really the more of yeah, it's the idea not, I mean, I personally would actually die for you guys. But <laughs> 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 Shout out to the fans of being like, yo, I, I I just want to say thank you to everybody. That's yeah, like really you're the best cool. fans in the like the freaking world. Like, goodness gracious, this is what I do. This is my little heart thing. I love you, you guys. Are, you guys are pokes for sure. That's very Harry Styles of you, J- uh, of Rudy. We have I almost called you JJ too. The we yeah. Rhea and I have yeah, also decided that you your doppelganger is Harry Styles. You're like the blonde yeah. Harry Styles. Don't let it get before. to your head too much. Well, but like yeah, they're similar. Similar. It wouldn't be the first time. And Harry, I know if you. I'm, I know you're listening. You know, I yeah. know you're out there. Yeah, Watch Harry Styles right? is a big LBX fan. Uh, you know, I just want to say, like, there's definitely worse people to be compared to. You're a handsome looking guy. Uh, but, like, sing. please, I, I just one day, can you be compared to Rudy Ponko? Like, just one day. <laughs> just take it from one day. Can you ever be like, oh, you know what? You look like Rudy Ponko. You know, just one day. <laughs> just one, just a good flip. I love we'll it. We'll flip it around. We'll actually, flip we'll start saying when we talk about Harry Styles, we'll be like, you know, Harry Styles really, really looks like Rudy Pop. Yeah, Rudy Pop. that's what he no. looks like. Oh, wow. I never saw, but Harry looks like Rudy. Like, I just one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you haven't streamed it already, please stream Outer Banks on Netflix. They were the number one show this week. So let's keep it there, keep streaming, and hopefully we get a season two, which I think that we will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you guys, guys so, so much, much for talking with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pleasure. Thank you guys. Thank you pleasure, pleasure. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Wiggity, wiggity.